Welcome back, guys. Another episode of Subnautica. This is episode number five. It's still dark at the moment, but uh, today I would like to go try to check out Life Pod 3. Although, I'm kind of thinking it might be a good idea before we do that to uh, learn how to make the, the laser cutter thing, which I'm still missing. If I can find it, here it is. Laser cutter, I still need one more ingredient. It's probably going to be handy, but uh, we want to go try to get there. Anyway, let's switch this back to inventory. I made some batteries because I'm hoping that we can use these to charge this. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. We're currently at 57%. Oh, there is the... Okay, let's get going. I think we'll be able to get there fairly quickly. But uh, if our sea glide runs out of power and I can't recharge it with those batteries, I'm not sure what we're going to do. And we may as well do most of it underwater, because it's going to be prettier. Look at this. This is cool. Oh, what about this? What about this? What's this? Ho! 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 Scan it! Mobile vehicle bay! Pals! Okay, sweet. Where's my beacon? There we go. New beacon. New blueprint. What'd you give me? We still need uh, lead... We still need lead and um, silver to do some things. I'm not going to pick up scrap because they have a lot of titanium sitting around. So we want to save our inventory for other things. But I'm keeping my eye out for things to scan. That is for sure. That is just salvage. Don't care about the salvage. That looks like... More salvage. Okay, I don't want to go through that tunnel. Is this the tunnel of death? Or the tunnel of love? I think it's a tunnel of love. Alright, tunnel of love. Here we go. Some more quartz will eventually be quite useful. There we go. What about these guys? I scanned any of you? I scanned all of you already, huh? Alright. Okay. Yeah, these things are super valuable. Finding these tunnels with all this stuff. We just need to hope that there's... Yeah, I don't think there's any of those explodey fish in here. Would be nice. How's the inventory looking? Oh, careful there. What was that? Titanium. Okay, great. i um, not really looking for that, but all right. There might be explodey fish in there. All right, well, my inventory is already getting kind of full. That's copper. Okay, so let's just keep going. Okay, out of oxygen. Power's down to 50%. Maybe we'll be able to get all the way there and back without worrying about the recharge. It would be nice if we were closer to home base when I need to recharge in case my battery idea doesn't work. Maybe we need to uh, have some kind of like machinery to dock the two together to transfer the charge. I don't know. What about this? More titanium. I wonder if we need to find certain areas or caves or systems or some different uh, biome to find what we're looking for. Here we are. We're here! Oh, sea glide fragment! I already learned that. I did. Oh, there's more than the total you need. And when you, when you already have the recipe, it just gives you scrap. Alright, interesting. What did that give me? Uh, copper. Oh, wait, hang on. We got some silver. Okay, good. We need that to make a wiring case. Let's see what's going on. Hey, I, I have scanned you already. I think everybody's going to be dead here, huh? Can we go in? Hello? Scan myself, I guess. I'm not sure what to do here. We're here. Hello? <laughs> Um, did we get an update somewhere on what to do? I learned the mobile vehicle bay. Okay, let's close the indigenous life forms. Data downloads. Life pod sits... Okay, I need to look at that. Limestone outcrops. I'm getting low on oxygen. I'm not unaware of that. Maybe we do need that laser cutter thing. Because I don't see anybody here. This is more scrap. 
That is salt. That was... Lead. Oh! Maybe we just need to be a certain distance away from, um... The place we started, our spawn point, for the rarer metals to show up more frequently. Maybe that's kind of thing. It has a distribution based on distance. That would make sense to sign it like that, I guess, as a like a game design idea. I don't know what to do here. I don't see anything to interact with or scan. Or like, I don't see a way to bang open the door. I can't scan anything. We swam all the way over here. I can't scan it. Uh, but there is nobody in there. Maybe we come back with the laser cutter. Yeah, I think that's what we will have to do. Come back with the laser cutter. Because uh, there's nothing else I can really do here. Sea glide fragment. Okay, it's going to give me some... Oh, Nelly. I'm going to scan you. I'm going to scan you. You missed. Hey, I'm scanning you. Pow. Indigenous life form. Stalker. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we swim all the way out here. Now what? Now I guess we head back. Yeah, we're gonna have to head back and uh, come back when I can actually. Oh, bacteria, huh? Oh, okay. All right. Press F to scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Uh oh. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. That's not good. Continuing to monitor. Okay, I'm gonna get sick now. Dang it. That's probably what happened to whoever else was there. They got the space rabies. Went crazy. Space madness. What is that? That looks like scrap. Uh, okay, let me look. Um, we still need to find the laser cutter. That seems like it's going to be important, so maybe what we'll do, we're going to swim back. And I'm going to just basically patrol the area around our starting spot until we find that last blueprint. That's going to be scrap. Can I swim in here? This is one we came in through the first time. Alright, we may as well pick up a bunch of quartz on our way back. Our, uh, our sea glide is only at 45% power, so we can go pretty far in it, farther than I thought. Titanium. Oh, I, I guess I totally failed to click on those when they dropped. Okay, so we are back at the base, and I'm looking through my inventory. We've got one silver. We need two to make the rebreather to be able to swim down deeper. I do know how to make the sea moth, but you notice it, it's in its own category for the mobile vehicle bay. So uh, I had sort of guessed, and I think I'm right, that we need to make this thing first before we can deploy anything in this category. And I, I have the stuff to make that. I made it already. It's ready to be made. And we're still gonna look for the uh, the laser cutter, but let's go ahead and make this mobile sea mount thing. Jump, 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 jump. Yes! It looks kind of like a, um, uh, a watery alien world version of a... Oh, okay, good. Release vehicle bay. What? Was that a quest interaction? Let's go into my inventory. I guess I have to put it on my bar, huh? Like some of these other things. All right. Shump, shump, shump. Oh, it goes up to the top. Okay, uh, let's, let me rearrange this stuff back to the way it was. There we go, made some food as well. How does this thing work? Climb up. Can we ride this thing around? No, it's not a vehicle. But we can use it to make stuff. All right, vehicles. So far, I know how to make. Do I have a single? If I have a single piece of lead, we can make this right now. Let's go look for a single piece of lead. Uh, I'm not sure if I have that. If we do, we can do it. In my inventory, there's nothing. Let's see. That's all titanium. There's a titanium ingot, all titanium and silicon. Um. There's the fiber meshes, coral tube samples, nothing in there yet. 
That's the one silver we have. We need a second one. Lead. Oh, I have lead. Okay. Uh, okay, so what, what all do we need? Let's look through all the things. Oh, it's not going to be displayed here because we can't actually make it there. So let's look here. Uh, titanium ingot power cell glass times two. There's the ingot. Power cell is going to be two copper and two batteries. I already have, I made three batteries. Okay, so we can just turn that into a power cell, right? Or does it require something? We need silicon, okay? Grab this. Oh gosh, I keep <laughs> mistakenly clicking on the label. I don't want to change the label, I want to open the thing. Okay, power cell. We need lubricant, I think. Okay, let's get the lubricant and glass times two, and then we've got everything to make that guy. Oh, that's cool. Okay, glass times two. There's two quartz. One lubricant, I think. I've got lots of quartz. Okay, turn that into glass, and I think we have everything. Uh-huh. Uno mas. Good. Okay. Uh, will it display? Yes, we have everything. It's all in green. Fantastic. It's dark. We're not going to take it out for a ride until the daylight comes. But let's go ahead and make it. Because that's kind of cool. I guess this thing will just kind of stay here. Anchored. It's not really anchored, but hopefully it doesn't drift too much. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport. Uh -huh. Remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> okay. Ooh, robots. Sweet, it's got headlights. Welcome aboard, Captain. Whoa. Can we do a barrel roll? Okay, that's super cool. I still think we want to get the wiring gun done. So I think we're probably just going to leave this thing kind of here. For now, this is really cool. Uh, next time we go to... Oh, okay, I turned the lights off. Exit with E. That is super cool. I'm going to look around. We need to get this blueprint. Because I think we're going to need it. Um, oh, it's up further up here. The laser cutter. I think that's important. All right. Well, I found the laser cutter fragment. And it's being guarded by two of those shark things. Shark uh, seahorses. Don't bite me. No, 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 no. Don't bite me. Okay, and we're out. Okay, let's get back to the base. I also found... Yeah, laser cutter. Um, I found a... Oh, I haven't scanned one of these. I found a piece of silver as well. Looking around for that thing. Self-scan floater. Indigenous life form. Dominant life form. Helium buffer. That sounds important. May aid in flotation of sunken objects. Yeah, I think that's going to be important. But let's go back to the base. And let's make some stuff. I should be able to make the rebreather now. And uh, we'll take a look at what is required for the laser cutter. Hopefully it's not too expensive. I've been carrying around a bunch of batteries for the moment when aboard, my charge runs out. So we can try to figure out how to recharge things. Uh, okay, let's look at the laser cutter first. Tools. We need diamonds. I do not, I have not seen diamonds. Huh. Uh, I did pick up some fish, so let's cook those guys up. And I'm a little bit hungry, so we're gonna grill one. Oh my gosh, I picked up a lot. Uh, not the bladder fish. How about how a fish? Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meat with salt. Salt. Locally sourced herbs and you don't say. So can we get some better recipes for the fish that ing that uh, use herbs? Sounds like a good idea. Oh, I picked up a lot, huh? Yeah, we need a lot of fish because I'm just constantly on the edge of running out of food. So I picked up a lot of them. All right, then we'll grill up the rest. I found a hoop fish. Hopefully it's delicious. Looks yummy. Okay, and then a cured peeper. Cure oh, I must be, uh, maybe I'm out of um, salt. I've got some in uh, inventory though. So actually let's, 
Oh my gosh, that's a lot. I wish these would... Can we combine them? I don't think I can combine them. We want to eat the one that is not this one, cooked. There we go. Now I'm a bit thirsty. Let's grab some salt and also look for my piece of silver, which is somewhere. Okay, that is salt. I think the silver... Yeah, the silver's right there, and I think I need that, although I don't exactly remember. We will salt up that last fish. I think there's only one left. Yep. Okay, um, and then... Equipment. We, we... Oh, no, fiber mesh. We need a wiring kit. Okay, I was thinking of something else. Wiring kit. Okay, nice, and I definitely have meshes somewhere. Here we go. Okay, now we can make that rebreather, so when we go into the deep waters... We don't lose uh, efficiency with our oxygen tank, which is nice. It's kind of how I died the first time, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, it's already equipped. Nice. We got lots of fish. Uh, and we need diamonds. I have not found diamonds. We're going to have to explore until we find them. Let's put some of this stuff away. Yeah, okay. So it's dark, and we're about to take the sea moth out for an exploration journey. I got a message, though. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Uh-oh. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. Yeah. We're now en route to your location. Okay. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. Okay, they changed their what tools. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a yeah. bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay, you got to turn the message off. You probably don't want me hearing that. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's a development I was wondering, because it seemed like he was just going to leave, but... Oh, the sun's coming up. Oh, it's perfect timing. Okay, we're entering the sea moth, and this... Yeah, does this thing have storage? Maybe not. It does seem to have attachment slots. Uh, let's see, can I put my... I don't know how I'd even do it. Yeah, because there's no way to transfer them from one to the other. Do I have a new tab for the sea moth? I don't think so. Okay, but anyway, uh, sun is up. I want to go explore that deeper section. We've got the rebreather, so we can go deeper in the water. So we're going to swim away from the crashed ship. We, I think that's... Yeah, that's the lights. You're not very fast, are you? Maybe we're going faster than it seems. Oh, shark. I guess we'll turn that off. Now that the sun has come up, we got the rebreather. So we can uh, go deeper into that the, the place in the ocean where he saw all the super deep stuff. And I uh, have a decent amount of food and water. I've got batteries and a power cell to recharge things. And what I'm hoping is that we can find some diamonds so that we can make that laser cutter. That seems like an important tool we're going to want to have. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay, lights on. Let's not run into things. I see there's a little... There's a wrench there for our current condition. If we get attacked or if I run into stuff, that probably wouldn't be bad. Oh, is this... This is like a vent or something. It seems to be put, wanting to push us upward, so I wonder if I jump out, if I'm going to get left behind. We'll get separated. And I'm wondering if one of those slots would be like a... Um, Warning. Maximum depth reached. Whoa. Power damage imminent. Hey! A little bit more warning, maybe. I just took 10% damage. Why don't you warn me next time there's a maximum depth? I didn't know that. I don't see any little clusters of uh, rocks. Here, there's one. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Come on. Lithium! Okay, I did have a recipe for that. We're at 80%. Okay, so uh, the farther we go, the more important stuff we find, I guess. Titanium, that's not important. I mean, it's important, but it's not rare. Are you taking damage there? Don't take more damage. We're looking around for stuff. Maybe I can scan these guys? That's just no more. Table coral is just a different color from normal. Okay, I got lots of oxygen. As long as that thing isn't just sitting there taking chunks of damage all the time. 
I hope it's not. Let's check on it. It's still at 80%. Alright. Just leave it there for a minute. Explore around, find some minerals. Uh, I had something we discovered. I need lithium for. I don't remember exactly what it was. Scan that already. Okay, well, I, I didn't realize there was a maximum depth. That's going to be a big pain in the butt. I suppose maybe eventually we'll be able to um, create upgrades for this thing so we can go deeper. Maybe it makes sense. Okay, so we don't want to go that deep. Our base is off in that direction. Let's just go up a bit higher. So I thought we'd be able to explore... Oh, there's something. I thought we'd be able to explore down here. Kind of unlimited, but I guess that's not the case. Do I have two of those lithiums? I've got one. And a salt. And two titanium. Okay. Well, I guess we just... I don't see anything here. Okay, let's get back in the... In the ship. Yeah, and let's try to find a different... That's not the ship. That's my house. <laughs> 600 meters away. Okay. So, our base is... Oh, off in that direction. I'm going to go kind of in this direction. I don't even remember what I needed the lithium for, but I definitely need it for something. Don't see anything harvestable in there that I really want. More lithium. I guess we can go ahead, uh, since I'm not like worried about my oxygen tank right now. I found a blueprint. And it was for... Something that uses lithium. Not that, obviously, because we already made it. Titanium. We need diamonds for that. Survival knife. Um, I don't remember. Was it the... No, we need lead for the radiation suit. I don't have that either. Oh, we can make a thermometer. Heads-up display. Temperature sensor. Maybe that we can put that in the Seamoth. Huh. Okay, all this other stuff we've already made. So I don't know what I found that um, needs lithium. I know there was Diversity something. Oh, it's one of maybe one of these things. What? Cause unknown. Cause unknown. Okay. Something big is eating stuff. That's what. Super deep. But yeah, I wanted to go down there, but it seems like we can't go that far down. School of fish. Uh, some kind of. Oh, there is a heads-up display of my current depth. I had just now noticed that. And to the right of it is a is a big yellow 200 saying, don't go down this deep, bone face. Okay, give me some lithium. I don't want lithium, I want um, diamonds. Give me some diamonds. Nope. What was that sound? Sound like I leveled up in a MMO or something. We're currently at 74%, which is not good. I want a little manipulator arm to pick this stuff up without uh, getting out of the ship. That would be nice. Ooh, look at these things. Oh, this is new. Uh, okay, but we're real close to our operational maximum depth. Ooh, it's hot! That's why we need a thermometer. Get in. Get in. Let's get out of here. It's too hot. <laughs> Abandoned ship. How's my inventory looking? Plenty of space. Ooh, look at this. Okay, I hope it's not too hot when I get out. I guess we just can't really approach these things. Quartz. Special equipment is required to collect this. I bet we need that laser cutter and we can find like a big vein of it and get a bunch of it all at once. Okay, there's a shark thing. That's my running assumption. I have no idea how to repair this thing. Oh, we've got a repair tool. That's right. So here's a little container. Did you just try to bite me? Is that what that was? The shark tried to bite me. What's inside here? Sea glide fragment. Well, we already made the sea glide. We don't need more fragments. Alright, so let's just, uh, I guess head back for the base. 
And we'll do further. Oh, God, that's going to be hot. Oh, no. Okay, we're moving out of here. Okay. We made it back. The repair gun, I think, is uh, in a container in my base because I didn't think I would need it on me all the time. If that's what's going to repair this, I don't know. Let's park this guy right here. All right, what do we bring back with us? We got, I guess, a piece of gold. I've got two pieces of gold now. Not sure what to do with it. I did get a piece of lithium, which I think is used... Uh, oh, that's right. That's what I found. I learned how to make a plasteel ingot. I don't know what we need that for yet, but that's what the lithium was for. Okay, so we have some. Whenever we need a plasteel ingot. In the base. We made it back. Let's drink some water. Yum, yum. And I guess we will find a container that has space. Yeah, we can put it in there. Put some of this stuff in here. I also have a uh, container full of fish. We have another message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. From the cafeteria. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Seamoth Bay. On the edge of a cave system. Ooh. This can snake things trying to eat through the hull. Ooh. Come get us already. I want to learn how to make that Seamoth Bay. To PDA. This one. 500 meters. Okay. I think we're going to do that next episode so I can... You learn how to make a Seamoth Bay as part of our base. That's what that sounds like anyway. A way we can just kind of like dock it directly into here. That sounds super awesome. I mean, we need to rescue the cafeteria guy. Yeah, that's it. All right, but that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, too bad because I'm enjoying it. We'll see you next time. See you later and bye-bye.